In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can growth hack your Web3 brand. Whether you're a personal brand and you just want to become an influencer or you're setting up shop and you want to launch an NFT collection, how do you get eyeballs on you? How do you get Discord members? How do you get more Twitter followers? How do you get more YouTube subscribers? How do you ideally get people wanting to maybe buy your token or buy your NFT and become a holder? We're going to get into all that and these methods are battle tested for 2023 and beyond. Welcome back to Conquer Crypto. If you are new here, my name is Dan. I'm a full-time builder in the space. I've started my own collections called 3D Frankenpunks. We have over 50,000 Twitter followers. I want to say 7,000 Discord members. And we've done over 6,000 Ethereum in volume on the secondary markets. You can go search us up. I'm going to show you in this video here. So I'm talking from first-hand experience as someone who's lived, breathed, and pooped this stuff. I'm going to show you the methods that we've used and other successful projects use to generate some hype, generate some momentum, get people to start looking at you, caring about what you're doing and wanting to throw some, you know, fingers crossed, some Solana or some Ethereum at your collection, or just look at you as an authority, look at you as someone they can respect and follow, whether you want to do something that's maybe more in the realm of a teacher and providing alpha, or maybe more in the realm of a comedian. We're going to get into all that today. Alrighty, let's dive directly into it. So, uh, yes, this is uh, the project I've co-founded, Dr. Ethful's 3D Frankenpunks, we're sitting at 56,000 followers. Uh, we've got, you know, even to this day, a year and a half out, we have a very active community. Let me just show you some of our posts here. Um, at this point, we're, we're not really caring so much on viral marketing. Um, our goal is to just keep people up to date with our developments. We've just been in building mode and that's been the priority. But you can see we have our weekly spaces here posting a new upcoming art. The engagement is pure. It's real. Um, a lot of people in the space believe in botting and botting the following. Maybe I'll make... I'll make a video on the black hat marketing tactics. I generally always tell people avoid doing that because often you're not ready for what it's going to bring. Um, like, yes, you can use bots to inflate the numbers and fluff them up, but the real holders, like the, the, the people that you want, who are really going to care about what you're doing are going to look at that and scoff at you. They're going to look at it and know what you're doing. Like I, I know a botted following when I see one. So generally speaking, I always urge people stay away from that. Focus on making something amazing. Focus on really caring and growing organically and building a connection with each and one, every one of your followers. It's going to pay off in massive dividends in the future rather than trying to shortcut growth by cracking this code or hacking it. You can actually grow pretty damn quick if you just understand the fundamentals of Twitter, the fundamentals of content, the fundamentals of like viral marketing, organic growth. Studying that is going to be a very powerful skill that you can use forever that will pay you infinitely forever than going and hitting like literally I can type in on Twitter NFT promo. And let me show you the all these people, they're just running a, a gigantic Ponzi. So for instance, is this guy an NFT promoter? Let's see. You'll find plenty, plenty of these people. It might even pop up right here. So we have Vulture. I'm not trying to throw smoke at anyone, but here we go. Promo for DMs, Ethan Solana, hashtag ads and retweets. Um, you know, it's good that he's very upfront. And I'm not saying he's necessarily botting. Um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of these people are actually legitimate. But you, you just have to understand a lot of these people, they, are, they, they can bot. The botting has gotten very, very strong where you can bot the likes, the retweets, the comments, you can automate all of these things. There's people who've made really lucrative businesses where all they do is, is strictly that. They've been able to maybe garner a, perhaps a legitimate following, but you, you have to keep in mind that like you can, these people can only shill for so long until their audience is sick of it. So there is a degree of dilution here and you can just DM these people and get free promo. But the, the, the people that you're getting, it's kind of a mixed bag. You're going to have a couple of real people and a lot of bots. And the reality is bots are not going to buy your stuff. Bots are not going to be able to connect with you. Bots are simply bots. They're just numbers on a screen. They're not real people. You're better off having one real person than 100 bots or 1,000 bots or tens of thousands of bots. 
So I'll do another video on that. I just want to get the elephant out of the room because it is a major thing on, on Twitter, uh, even on other social media platforms. And I just want to encourage people to actually build dope stuff and do it the right way so that we have a better space that people aren't, you know, looking at uh, the value of an NFT based on how much botted hype it has and actually looking behind, you know, the smoke screen of evaluating what's really going on and then the projects who deserve to win getting that real organic reach. All right, so let's talk a little bit about some of the tactics we've used to grow our uh, our Twitter. So a couple things that made us unique, and I think this is really important. You have to study the game. You have to actually get on Twitter, start following accounts, like type in hashtag NFT, type in hashtag crypto. Um, if you're watching this, you're probably an enthusiast. You're probably already following people. Look at what they're doing, right? Go into your feed, look what they're doing. At the time when we started, this was back in October, 2021, right? We saw a lot of, uh, projects just like, you know, promoting their white lists, this, this, that. And they were always like these collections, right? Of animal, animal, this animal, that animal NFT. We noticed that no one really had a cool main character for their project. They didn't really have this persona. It was this vague persona that represented the whole collection, but they didn't have a main character that, that had their own personality, their own nicks and knacks and something that was just the face of the project. And so that's what we did. We created a main character for our collection that represented the entire collection. And this main character created all of the NFTs. So we ran with that and we used that and we role played as him throughout all of our tweets. We'd have, you know, tweets going out like, uh, I woke up today and uh, <laughs> I, I put some spider webs in my coffee and a little bit of acid and just saying stupid comical stuff. I think one thing that's, that's really good is don't take yourself too seriously. Twitter is known for just being a total shit posting mayhem. You need to embrace it, use it to your advantage. And we did that hardcore. We had a lot of dark humor. We had a lot of satire. Uh, we embraced this idea of this old dude um, kind of being a little bit on the spectrum, kind of, you know, saying things that are not politically correct. Um, that's all cool. Now, the thing is, we did that because we saw a gap right? And this is what I'm trying to teach you. This is not a cop. Like I, if I just told you copy this, copy that you might get some results, but you're not going to actually win. I want you to win. And what I'm trying to teach you is the strategy. Look at what people are doing and do what they aren't. That is the secret. That's where you find the hole in the market. That's how you create something that people are like, Ooh, wow. It doesn't mean you need to reinvent the wheel, right? Reese's pieces. They didn't reinvent the wheel. They just took chocolate and peanut butter household household sweets that everyone loves they combine them created something new so look around and try to create something new by what people aren't doing but also by taking what they're doing and combining them into something fresh and unique that's something i want you to think about okay but here's a couple general strategies people use for instance um if you're doing nft stuff guys please show off your art this is a this is a really good tip this this generally does very well um, you know, the, the art world, the NFT art world is massive. People love it. You should be flaunting this as much as you can. Um, don't show off everything. Be subtle. This is our generation two drop and we're showing it off. You don't need to be too crazy. Put a little one liner. No, now this is one saucy Frankie. Okay. Right. Or my special assistant, you know, put a little one liner, put it out there, start getting your art out there. Um, it's a great way to grow. Maybe put one or two hashtags, avoid putting like 30 hashtags. People think that's how you get a lot of organic reach. It's not really how the algorithm works. The way the algorithm works is it, is it pays attention to, um, people's engagement and the engagement since the time of the post that that's essentially how, how it works. So you, you don't want to be spamming notific, uh, hashtags quite often. It just looks spammy and people don't like it. Okay. Another thing, spaces. Okay. Especially if you're a new kid on the block, you need to be using spaces. Uh, Twitter spaces is essentially what, um, what was it called? Clubhouse. It's what clubhouse did and they've just integrated it into Twitter. And it's a great way to get fresh eyes on what you're doing. There's always spaces going on the, a way that you can find them when you're on your phone. If you just scroll to the top, I don't know if I'll be able to show this to you guys, but if I go on Twitter right now, if I just open up my app and I go to my homepage, boom, look, let me show you this. This is actually handy. 
You can see at the top there, as soon as I log into the app, it shows live spaces. These purple stuff at the top, you see that? These are spaces I can join. So look through these, look through those, join a space that, you know, makes sense to you and make note of it. Follow, follow a bunch of people in there. Just start following a lot of people and, and try to get on the main stage. Okay. And, and say something of value and do this every day. Like you're just, you're going to have to bite the bullet. Like initially guys, you're going to have to put, you're going to have to give to get like, you know what I mean? And the more you can give and the more in the habit you can give, 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 like creating posts, replying to people, following people, going into spaces, popping up in the spaces, being witty, being funny, giving some value day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out over and over and over and over and over and over and over. That is how you grow, right? No one wants to do that. People want the quick snippy snap that makes you go kapoom. And there are some tricks that we can do depending on what your brand is. Like if you're an NFT project, you can utilize some whitelist meta. You can utilize alpha groups. There are ways, ethical white hat marketing methods that are totally kosher and are a great way to grow. But there's a caveat with those because it, uh, you need to get to a point where your project is, you know, worth talking about. Right. Um, and quite often it's just easier. Even if your project's not done, you can just start a Twitter and start growing it and getting the word out. Even if it's not at a point where it's like fully developed and ready for mint or whatever. Okay. So getting these spaces, it's a great choice, especially, uh, if you're trying to be an influencer or grow a personal brand, that's an absolute must. Uh, the spaces meta is not going anywhere. And it's, it's a great way for, for new people to get some eyeballs on them. Um, my personal Twitter, I, I don't use this often. I, I'm just focused on other things, but that this is how I've grown. Um, it's one of the, one of the ways I've, I've been growing my own, my own Twitter here. Um, is through, through those spaces. So uh, another thing I recommend guys, I hope it loads. Yes. Okay. Use the Twitter verification on your, your NFT assets. You notice when you use the NFT profile pick, you get this octagon. Do you know, do you see this or is this a hexagon? I don't know. One of those things. When you click the asset, it shows all the details about my NFT and it, I can go to the collection and learn all about it. It's super sick. Okay. This is massive because when you make a post like that, um, you can share the art. Like when I posted it, you can share the art. And this is a great way for new people to learn about you because you are tapping into the, the these communities. If you look at someone like Bark Meta, he uh, does this very, very well. I believe this one is verified. Oh, I guess it's not. I'm pretty sure it is. I remember clicking his profile pic and it was, it was verified but it's not showing it right now for some weird reason. Sometimes it can be buggy, but he's got a mutant ape and the mutant ape floor is like 20,000 US dollars, right? So it can also be a big flex and also help you establish authority by like showcasing an expensive NFT and not even if it's expensive by just tapping into the community, you should be utilizing it. And depending on what you're doing, it just helps you get a big leg up. And when people land on your page, just from your NFT alone, it can literally make them fall in love with you, want to follow you, want to share your thing and just be like, boom, wow, he has a verified pick. Like this, this says this, this, this about this person. I want to follow them. It gives you a big edge for sure. And because we have verification now, um, you can actually prove that you own the assets versus last year or two years ago, people were just ripping JPEGs that they didn't even own. Um, if you look at punk 24 or was it 20, 40, 60, was it 68? 6529. Um, man, I guess a lot of these guys are not doing it because they, I guess they're worried about uh, the security. But yeah, like I recommend you do it. Obviously, like with he more expensive assets that might be very risky, um, you know, proceed with caution. I'm not saying it's uh, something you should do you know, for, for everything per se, but it, it is an advantage. And if you do have it, you know, you should be, you should be using it. Okay. Not him either. Okay. That's fine. Anyways, moving on, uh, you should be leveraging alpha groups. This is massive, especially for you NFT collectors or, uh, NFT collections out there. So an alpha group is simply basically a community of traders who are looking for, for the next hot thing. 
and there are literally groups of people who are running some of them some of these are businesses and this is all they do day in day out is they just have their ears to the floor and they make themselves available for founders to hit them up to look at their project and see if they want to share with their community and it literally costs you nothing to at least give it a shot so you have some of the more notable ones like mbm um they're a pretty big collection they're constantly doing these things you might notice um they'll be doing giveaways these are pro projects that they partner partner up with they'll be doing partnerships right with other collections here's another one three whitelists tag your friends these do super well right so they do these collaborations and so you have to basically apply to to receive this uh collaboration to get some promo um, sometimes they might charge money for it too, depending on how much hype you have, or if you're a new kid on the block. Um, oftentimes if you're getting a lot of hype, they'll hit you up. And that's what we experienced last year. We got hit up by all the alpha groups because they wanted to, there's so much hype that they benefit from saying like, Oh, look, like, look what we got. We have this project under us. So ideally, like you want to get to a point where you have so much hype that they hit you up, but sometimes you need to get the engine started. Um, and you'd be surprised. A lot of these are for free. Like we hit up Llama, Llamaverse. We did uh, a collaboration with them where they gave out some of our NFTs in their uh, capsules to their holders. Pretty big project, 123,000 followers, and it was completely free. We just gave them, uh, I think it was like 10 NFTs, and they did a they did a uh, space with us, which was awesome. We did a, uh, here, I'll show you the Llamaverse and Frankenpunks. So they held a Twitter space. They announced it in their Discord. And, oh, okay. Sometimes the search on this absolutely sucks. Anyways, I can't find it right now. But we, we did a space together, which was super sick. Um, it helped to get some new eyes on the project. And it was, it was free. Like, you'd be surprised. There was another, um, there's a bunch of alpha groups out there that will just work with you. If you're, you know, a genuine person and you ask and you, you know, you've got to sell them on what you're doing and, and if they find interest in it, you can just all of a sudden now have access to 10, 20, 30 new people, ideally hundreds or thousands of new people who want to see you win and want to see you crush it. So, uh, let me take us back to Twitter here. That's, uh, that's a very, very good way to grow. Um, if you're curious on how to actually do these things, like how do I find these alpha groups? How do I go about you know, growing in the smartest way in 2023. Well, these are just some of those strategies, but there's other ways too. Like we utilizing YouTube, utilizing TikTok, utilizing email lists, utilizing sponsorships. Um, there's a lot of ways you can grow. Some of the best ways are free and you should be doing them. Uh, but if you're an NFT collection and you're interested in also paid promotion, there's some really good high ROA me methods that you can be using. I would not recommend doing these marketing agencies that are DMing you They're Most of the time they're scams. They're going to be rinsing you and they're, they're, the, uh, the results that they bring, you can do it for a fraction of what it costs. I'm just telling you from experience because we've worked with some people and they just rinsed us and it was just shit and it was not a good choice. I don't want you to waste your money like that. Um, I want to help you, uh, help you founders grow your project, help you think through your utility, you know, building up the following is one thing, but then there's all these other aspects of like, what is the collection? What is it doing? What is the utility? What problems are you solving? Okay. Where are you deploying? Is it on Ethereum? Is it on Solana? How do you get the smart contract developers for that? How do you actually, uh, design the NFTs? How many units are them? How do we shuffle them? How do we make sure all the metadata is assigned correctly and the traits are assigned correctly and there's no issues? And how do we do this mint? How should we How should we be minting? How should we be collecting addresses for a whitelist? Right? All these things, like growing out the discords, how do I set up my discord server? Like, there's a lot there to unpackage. And luckily for you, down in the description, the pinned comment of this video as well, I've left a free training as well as my moonshot checklist. So it's a free video training and a checklist that's going to help you get in the right direction. Ultimately, if you're a founder or an influencer, people are betting on you. You need people to believe in you. And in order for people to believe in you, you need to be a worthwhile person. So I've put together a several series, uh, several part training series to help you 
get in the dire right direction. And we're going to start off by analyzing you as a founder, you as an individual, and then we'll get into more nitty, nitty grittier stuff when it comes to hiring, when it comes to the best blockchains to be deploying on, when it comes to growth strategies, when it comes to setting things up. I'm going to walk you through that. Just check what I have down in the description. It's free. I'm just going to ask for your email so I can send you all of these goodies, send you this care package. I want to see you win. It's not easy. I'm, you know, one of the lucky people that ended up on the other side, selling out a collection completely, raising millions and being able to build this bad boy with our community, with our amazing team members, with our DAO members, and being set up in a position where we got so much runway. We've been building through the whole bear market. We got our holders right behind us. And it's it's fantastic. It's it's a dream come true. And I want that for more people. I want people to be able to do these things, especially good, honest people who aren't here to rug and here to, you know, do nothing and actually just they just want to drain liquidity i want to help the people who want to make a difference who want to innovate who want to you know make some dope creative shit or solve some problems or whatever it may be i want to help you so please check out what i have down below you're not going to regret it and i'll leave you at that if you have any other questions drop a comment tell me what's going on tell me what kind of videos you want me to create and i'd appreciate if you left a like on the way out of this video and i'll see you in that email sign up for it and that's that peace